So let's start by looking at a passage dealing with the Messiah as the great Jehovah. Um, you know, scholars of the Bible are perplexed by the idea that the God of the Old Testament seems to be a very capricious and jealous and demanding and exacting and bloodthirsty and vengeful kind of God, while the God of the New Testament seems to be so, so nurturing and forgiving and loving. And, and they say, how come this dichotomy? And there's lots of answers to it. But I believe that Isaiah does portray a God that is nurturing and loving and, uh, and caring. And one of the best places, I think, to illustrate that is found in the 28th chapter of Isaiah. Isaiah 28. The, chapter, the first part of the chapter deals with a warning about to, uh, to uh, the nation of Israel and Judah about the threat of the Assyrian, com uh, Assyrian invasion that's going to take place and rebuking the people for their failure to, to trust in Jehovah to deliver them and so forth. But at the end, he uses a remarkable allegory of a wise farmer to teach about how Jehovah cares for his people and why we should trust in him. So here's, let's go through this, if you will, with me. Does the plowman plow all day to sow? Does he open and break the clods of his ground? When he has made plain the face thereof, does he not cast the broad fitches and scatter the cumin and cast into principal wheat and he appoint a barley and a rye in this place for his God to instruct him with discretion and to teach him for the fitches are not threshed with the threshing instrument, neither the cart will turn upon the cumin, but fitches are beat out with the staff and cumin with the rod. But bread corn is bruised because he'll not ever be threshing it or break it with the wheels of his cart or bruise it with his horseman. Isn't that just inspiring? <laughs> Well, of course not. You can't read Isaiah that way. That's the way you probably read it with your children at 6 a.m. family scripture study, right? But I hope that if that's the way you have read Isaiah, you won't read it that way anymore. Now, let's, let's look at it carefully, the way Isaiah ought to be read, and look at this really remarkable allegory. He begins with this rhetorical question. Does a plowman plow all day to sow? In other words, does he plow the same field over and over again? Of course, the answer is no, but rather when he hath opened and broken the clouds of grass ground, and when he hath made plain, or level is a better word, when he hath leveled the face thereof, he then proceeds to plant different things in different ways. 